ten English phrasal verbs with play from EspressoEnglish.net. One verb in English can be followed by various prepositions to make many different phrasal verbs. So you might know the basic meaning of the verb play, play sports, play the piano, etc. But do you know what it means to play at something or play along with something? Today you'll learn ten different phrasal verbs with the word play. There are also questions to help you form your own sentences and put the phrasal verbs into practice. Let's get started. Play against. We use the phrasal verb play against when two people or two sports teams compete in a game or match. For example. Whichever team wins this game will go on to play against Brazil in the championship. Sometimes people eliminate the word against and simply say Argentina is playing Brazil in the championship. Now put it into practice. Think about a memorable game of your favorite sports team. Who were they playing against at the time? Play along. If you play along, it means you pretend to agree or accept something in order to keep someone happy. For example, I don't like the way my manager conducts our departmental meetings, but I just play along so as not to cause trouble. Now put it into practice. Describe a time when you played along. In general, do you prefer to play along or do you prefer to express your disagreement, and why? Play around. To play around means to be silly, not being serious. For example, okay, everybody, let's stop playing around and get to work. Play around can also mean to be sexually promiscuous or unfaithful. For example, she divorced her husband of thirty years after finding out that he was playing around with his secretary. Another phrasal verb for this is messing around. It's an informal way to say doing sexual activities. Now put it into practice. When was the last time you were playing around in a silly way? Play back. We use play back for listening to or watching something you've previously recorded. For example. When I played back the recording of the interview, I noticed there was a lot of background noise from traffic. Now put it into practice. Do you ever record audio or video and play it back later? Play at. If you play at something, it means you pretend to be doing it, or you do it just a little bit, but you don't give very much effort. For example. He's just playing at writing a book. I don't think he's really serious about it. After play at, we use the ing form of the verb, playing at writing a book. Now put it into practice. Have you ever played at doing something but not really taken it seriously, or do you know someone else who does this? Play on or play upon. These phrasal verbs mean to try to take advantage of something, especially an emotion. For example, the politician's speech plays on the deepest fears of the voters. Now put it into practice. Think about a movie or book that emotionally impacted you. What feelings does this movie or book play on? You can also use "play on" to talk about somebody playing on a sports team. In this case, play for can also be used. For example, she plays on the college basketball team in the winter. He's from Portugal, but he plays for the Spanish volleyball team. Play out. The phrasal verb play out describes a situation progressing until the end. For example, my sister and my mom are mad at each other, but I don't want to take sides. I'll just wait and see how the situation plays out. Now put it into practice. 
What's a situation where you're currently waiting to see how it plays out? Play up and play down. If you play something up, it means you try to make it seem more important or draw more emphasis to it. And if you play it down, it means you try to make it seem less important or draw less emphasis to it. For example, makeup can help you play up your natural beauty. During the interview, she tried to play down the fact that she was fired from her last job. Now put it into practice. Describe a time when you have tried to play something up or play something down. Play with. To play with something means to touch it and move it for fun, or simply to occupy your hands. For example, the little boys were playing with some action figures. We use this phrasal verb for toys. She plays with her hair when she's nervous. Also, if you are playing with your food, it means you move the food around on your plate and you don't eat very much. Now put it into practice. What toys did you like to play with when you were a child? Phrasal verbs can be really hard to remember since they're all so similar. Play at, play up, play out, etc. If you just try to memorize these phrasal verbs, it'll be very difficult to keep them straight and not confuse them. That's why I encourage you to put the phrasal verbs into practice as much as possible. In my Phrasal Verbs in Conversation course, you'll get a lot of practice. The lessons start with a dialogue showing you how the phrasal verbs are used, and then I explain each one and give more examples. After that, you can take a quiz to review the phrasal verbs and then answer the questions to start using the phrasal verbs in your own English. If you're a student in the course, you can send me your sentences and I'll check and correct them. Visit EspressoEnglish.net, click on Courses, and look for Phrasal Verbs in Conversation.